celebrate July 4th? What's your favorite way to celebrate July 4th or Independence Day? Do you want to answer? Fireworks. Well, you all came to the right place for a special brand of fireworks today. We have indoor fireworks today for sure. Who else has a special way to celebrate the 4th? You want to raise your hand and tell me? Decent respect to the opinions of mankind 
requires that they should declare the causes which compel them to the, to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just power from the consent of the government. The rest of the letter describes the things that we thought were unfair at the way England was treating us in the colony. Thank you, Thomas. Let's give, the, let's give an applause for what this Thank you. So today and every July 4th, we celebrate America's birthday. Since we declared independence on July 4th, that day we became the country, the day of our birth. But we haven't stayed free and independent for all these years without sacrifices. One group that have worked hard and sacrificed a lot to keep our freedom are the people in the military and the families. So, today, what birthday are we celebrating? America's 239th birthday. Because 239 years ago, some very brave people decided that we would declare that we were independent and that we were free. Raise your hand if you are thrilled to be in America today and free in America today. And as Uncle Sam said, that freedom has come at a price. So we would like to take just a couple of minutes to honor people who sacrifice every day to maintain that freedom. If you are in any branch of the military, in just a minute, we're going to ask you to stand as we honor you. If you are on active duty or have been on active duty in the past, stand or raise your hand. And we're going to start with the Air Force. So we're going to play a little bit of the Air Force anthem. And then we'll ask you to stand or raise your hand if you have been on active duty at any time with the Air Force. Um, and kids, we're going to do this for all five branches of the military. Can anybody name those five branches? We know there is the Air Force. Can anyone name another branch? Coast Guard. Coast Guard. Coast Guard Marine Air Force. Can anyone name another one that we have not named? Me. Navy, and there's one left. They wear camo gray. Army. So we're going to honor the people who have served in those five branches. And as you listen, just about a minute um, for each anthem, I want you to decide which music you like the best and which um, branch of the military you like the best. So we're going to start now with the Air Force, Ms. Maria, if you'll hit it. And if you have served ever with the Air Force, if you'll raise your hand or stand up. Has anybody been in the Air Force that's with us today?
will come in and help get our balloons red so that we can all stay safe here. While we're doing that, you know, there are, no, there are other salutes that we give for America. Who knows what we do with the flag? What do we do with the flag?
Star Wars here? Okay, this is what we have, just a little logistic. We're going to need to move outside of the blue square so that we can put the bubble wrap down. So if everybody will move outside the blue square. And parents, just a little word about what's going to happen. Children will jump on the bubble wrap. We'll have our indoor fireworks. There is a balloon drop. Parents, if we can do one balloon per child. One balloon per child, please. And following that time, we have birthday cake and ice cream upstairs on the rooftop. So make your way upstairs, and we'll have birthday cake and ice cream upstairs after the fireworks are doing that. 